Welcome back everyone to Game Zone Bird Room. Game Zone. And of course, it's not the Game Zone Bird Room without all the birds. What are you doing up there, Molly? Hey? Well, on a lovely walk this morning with the Ben Nevis mountain range in the background, walking the dogs on this Sunday misty morning. Here's my mem. Even though it's a misty morning, it's still absolutely stunning. Coming up to a rickety old bridge. I feel like I'm Indiana Jones. Again, let's get the uh, the mountain range. Even though the mist is starting to lift a little bit, it's absolutely beautiful, but also quite haunting at the same time. <laughs> Truly stunning. So we're coming more to a woodland bit now. There's my wife, Mem, in the background, walking up with Betsy. Yeah, really beautiful walks. Not too far from us either. Well, we are back where we started. The mist starting to really lift. Even a bit of sunshine creeping through the clouds. Anyway, guys, while I leave you with this beautiful scenery, it's back to me. There's Ben making a little cameo. Uh, it's back to me in the studio with a pickup video. Yes, welcome back to the Game Zone Bird Room studio. And as you can tell by the thumbnail, we have got a big pickup video. Not so much in contents, but how much I actually pay for this. This is September 2022 and October 2022 pickup video. And yes, this, this has literally cost me probably around about the £300 mark. But a lot of it is, I want to say new tech, but it's old tech, but it's more upgrade than anything from my own consoles and other tech and there is a few games that we are going to get through so let's do it first up great shop on the Isle of Wight called Retro Hobby and Game uh, the chap who runs it is called Luke always does do some good deals if you're an oddly over there or you live over there check out the shop it's in Shankill High Street Really, really good shop. Loads of games, loads of uh, Hornby, Scalic Tricks. It, it, it does everything in there. It's a terrific shop. Love it. Uh, actually, this, this first game, I actually, I thought I actually had. But when I moved and I was unpacking all my stuff, the box was actually empty. So who knows where the, the game went. I had no clue. 
And yeah, in that game, it's for the N64, Super Mario 64. Great 3D platformer. Not my favourite game on the N64, but it is quality. Uh, next up, from the same shop, uh, we have Micro Machines, sorry, Micro Machines uh, 2 Turbo Tournament. Look at that, Games, Games Master rated it 97%. And it says, probably the most playable game in the whole world. Well, I'll be the judge of that. Games Master, I'll be the judge of that. It's a great game, though. It says it's got a special. Oh, no manual, but I don't care about manuals. It's got the special J cart, and we can add a couple of extra joy pads for some great classic four player action. So, yeah, really happy to add that to the collection. Next up, we have an AliExpress special. You know how much I love AliExpress. It's great. It's a great online shop. Uh, yeah, so not the actual case. That was from somewhere else. But the game, do love these updated games. Uh, they are brilliant. Uh, the Street Fighter 2 uh, Turbo Edition and the Remastered Editions were fantastic. Glad I bought them, and they were cheap too. And yeah, and this one with the with the discount and that was about five quid. And that is Mortal Kombat Arcade Edition. Stunning, stunning uh, game. Uh, so many different uh, upgrades from the original. I mean, Sub Zero's got his original style, unlike a copy and paste from Sub uh, Scorpion in, in the original. It's got a lot more sound effects. It looks, does look beautiful. So I'm really glad I've got that. We'll, we'll do a review and a comparison with the original. And I thought, you know, it better have a case as well, as, as it didn't come with a case. So I bought this from another shop online, and that was, I think, six ninety nine. So you're happy with that. Next up, we have a couple of Sega Saturn games. Got the PAL version of these, but I wanted to get the, the Japanese versions. And this is one of the greatest fighting games on the system. And that is Virtual Fighter 2. Stunning game as well. In Saturn High Res mode. It's a smooth gameplay. It's just, it's just brilliant. It's just such a great fighting game. Oh, but what's this going? Oh, it's not a sore throat coming. Uh, next up, we have probably the greatest game on the system. Well, personally, my favourite game. And that is the legendary Sega Rally. Fantastic. I love the cover of this as well. So much better than the uh, the PAL. It's got his manual and everything. It's pretty cheap as well. So yeah, they're two two legendary Sega Saturn titles. Next up, we have a chat who likes spending my money, always sending me links to games, and that's a good friend of mine, quality tuber, James. Retro Import Gamer, love his channel. Yeah, and uh, he did show this on his channel uh, a few months back, and I asked a few questions, and that is, where is it? Fire Pro Wrestling S, Six Men Scramble. Really, really good sort of arcade game. Loads of different match types, uh, loads of characters. <coughs> oh dear, sorry about that. I hope it's not COVID. But yeah, really enjoyed playing this. Next up is a gift from that same channel. If you're not subscribed to him, please go over to his channel. I will leave a link in the description below. And it's a gift from me. Uh, doesn't know how he ordered two, but he probably put so many games in the basket. Yeah. He accidentally tapped it again, paid for it, not thinking any difference. But I'm glad he did make the mistake because this game he sent me is fucking brilliant. It was never actually officially released on the Dreamcast. But obviously, someone obviously got the wrong and 
released it and I'm glad they did because this is a proper great game. Propeller Arena. What great, great bit of artwork on there as well. Looks a bit like the old Spitfire. You've got like five different planes to choose from. Proper arcade style. And it's made by the legendary where is it? Legendary, I don't know if you can see that, but AN2. The greatest arcade game creators ever. But yeah, this James, thank you so much, mate. I really enjoyed this game. Got quite far in it. I think there's 10 rounds. I got up to round seven. I was leading because you need to top finish in the top three. And you know, like the old Saber arcade games, you don't finish in the top three, that's it, game over. So yeah, it was a bit annoyed by that. I was winning. I was winning that tournament, damn it. I was winning. But yeah, it's a great arcade uh, sort of dog fight game, in it? It's the you old know, dog fighting. So yeah, they are all the games. Next up, some hardware upgrades. Got to thank Mr. John Bundy for this one. Absolutely top lad. Uh, if you're not seen his channel, I will leave a description. No, I won't leave a description in the description. I'll leave a link in the description. Fuck me. It's, it's been a long time since I've done this, actually. Speak directly to the camera. It's easy if you, you know, continually do it, but I haven't done it for a while. It's fucking hard. It's fucking hard, it is. Anyway, I've got to thank him. For this as he did put a post on uh, the Isle of Wight gaming community on Facebook and uh, yeah and I had to check it out and there was about four in stock and I said I've got to pick it up great price 45 quid and that is dun, da, da, da. untangle it we have the six button Sega Mega Drive Arcade stick. Oh yeah, look at that. Wiggle wiggle. Now when I got this, it didn't actually work. Well, the arcade stick was really bad. I couldn't uh, jump or anything on Street Fighter. It was the first game I tested to test to see if all the six buttons work. And the other, the other problem was uh, the B. Uh, Turbo button doesn't work either, which was a bit annoying. But I managed to to fix the stick by replacing it with the Sega Saturn stick I had, the Power Sega Saturn stick. So yeah, it works absolutely fantastic now. I did try cleaning it and fixing it myself, but the, the stick was was fucked. Well, the original stick was fucked. So yeah, never mind. It's, it's a bit naughty when CX does that. They uh, send a 40 gear. I mean, surely it should be tested before it leaves the whichever shop it, whichever shop it came from. But yeah, it works. Works all good now. Shined it up a bit. Looks lovely. So yeah, so happy to have that. It makes playing Street Fighter 2 easier. It really does. I said, I've said before, I started playing with the joy pads. And my uh, hand hurts after a while, but with the arcade stick, I can play games for longer. So, yeah, brilliant purchase. Thank you, Mr. John Bundy. And sticking with arcade sticks, obviously, the Sega Saturn one don't work anymore. Well, it would do if I replaced the stick that's in the Mega Drive one. So, you know what I did? I got a steal on eBay. It was up for 30 quid, so I thought it was a, a, a put an offer in. And I thought, you know what, let's try it for 20. And we came, came to agreement for 20, 25 quid, and that is the Sega Saturn Japanese arcade stick. And this is actually better than the power version due to the fact that you bite that cable. Oh, can you hear that? Oh, it's micro switch. 
played it, plays beautifully. It's actually easy to pull off the moves in Street, uh, street Fighter. Buttons are like normal joypad buttons, but it doesn't matter. 25 quid, I, I thought that was a bit of steel really. So yeah, really happy with that. Right, let's turn the camera around and show you some of the other bits I got. Next up in the hardware upgrade is this SCART switcher. This was back in the day the creme de la creme. Monster, it's a Dutch make. Really knew their stuff. Remember reading this in my dad's what uh, what video magazine. So badly wanted it. It was about 150 back then in 2003, 2004. Five SCART sockets for the uh, hardware like DVD, player, satellite, games console. Two S videos ports and two composite ports as well. So I've got the N64 and uh, my NES in there as well. Pretty much all connected to the GBS. Yeah, this is a replacement for this little box, which has served me really well, Philips Scott Switcher. I'm still using it for my lesser consoles. I don't play as much, my PS1, my Master System, and the original Xbox. But yeah, this thing is absolutely brilliant. And best of all, it came with a working remote which is really nice. Some of, the, some of the ones that I've looked online didn't even have the remote. But you have, obviously you can't do it manually with the buttons. But yeah, what a great purchase. As I said, 26 pound, real, real good steel. Next up in the hardware upgrades is the Charcoal Original N64. Now this bad boy is S-Video. So you get a better pitch quality than composite. And that's the reason why I add it. Later models, especially for the power region, uh, just got rid of the S-Video. Unless you want to mod it to RGB, which is fairly expensive. So yeah, that, uh, I've made do with an S-Video. And you know what, the picture is, is an improvement. Not a massive improvement, but it will, it will do to I can... Uh, pay for an RGB mod. Next, in the console upgrade, we have the Sega Mega Drive. The first console I ever got, my very first proper games console, I did have the Spectrum ZX 128 Plus 2. But this was the first true console I ever owned. Got a lot of love and nostalgia for this thing. Quality games library, absolutely love it. What makes this special is this an actual modded, modded Mega Drive. You might ask, but where? Where are the extra button buttons? Well, down here is a very tiny LED light. So I can see if you was to switch that on. Really, really, really well put together. This is. If you touch the Saturn, it's like a sort of touch. Must be a little sensor inside there. So you just touch the Sega logo. It slides up to say that it's in 50, uh, 60 hertz mode. And yeah, this was brought great deal as well from Dane Star. Go and check his channel out. I'll leave a link in the description. Top man, done me a great deal on this from his shop, Hidden Chest Gaming. Highly recommend going to that shop. I've never been actually, but I've always bought stuff online from him. So it does great deals. Absolutely top, top man. But yeah, great piece of kit added. Enjoying Street Fighter in 60 Hertz. And the last console upgrade. Yes, I've only got myself a Japanese Sega Saturn. In a sexy box. Love the blue buttons. Nice grey as well. Goes well with the this competitor the PlayStation 1 you bastard but yeah really loving the uh, Sega Sam got this for a steel 
65 quid on Facebook Marketplace. Uh, got chatting to a chap, noticed he was in the same Sega Saturn group as me. And uh, I thought, oh, well, he, sh he should be right to buy, buy it, I think. And, and yeah, since, since, since I bought this, what, three weeks back, we've, we've been chatting on and off three weeks. Absolutely top, man. Really knowledgeable, really knowledgeable on the Sega Saturn as well. He's helped me out quite a fair bit. So yeah, really happy with this purchase. Hence why I've got Virtual Fighter 2 and Sega Rally for these Japanese Saturn. Because playing the power version on this is really bad over scan. And it looks absolutely beautiful with the, the GBS control um, upscaler. Really happy with this purchase. Yeah, happy boy. That is the end. That is the end of my pickup video for September 2022 and October 2022. If you enjoyed the video, guys, you know what to do. Button bash that like. Hit the subscribe button. Hit that little bell. And take it easy. Game Zone.